Hello, uh, thank you for taking our call. So, uh, Mr. Minister Farnworth, this question is actually for you. Uh, in 2003 and 2004, the previous Liberal government offloaded responsibilities for flood hazard land use management to municipalities. And experts have said that BC's model of flood and dike management makes it hard to plan regionally for the future. Uh, just last May, there was a report from the Fraser Basin Council that concluded that the current model for flood risk governance in BC is broken. Is this something the government is currently reviewing? I'll just wait till the uh, bells finish. Yeah, no, thank you for that question. It is absolutely something that uh, we are reviewing. <clears throat> uh, since 2017, a number of, uh, of actions have taken place. Uh, in terms of uh, around uh, emergency preparedness, uh, and that obviously involves dikes and flooding. Uh, one, as I've uh, outlined before, is us uh, signing up to the Sendai framework, the first um, uh, province to do so, along with the federal government, uh, and an overhaul uh, underway in terms of the Emergency Program Act, the first significant overhaul uh, since uh, 1993. Uh, we are currently uh, working on a BC flood strategy. That work is underway, and that is also going to be part and parcel of the, uh, the new legislation that we're looking at uh, for 2022. Uh, since 2017, we have invested more than $105 million in uh, improving uh, uh, our, our dikes, for example, and improving flood mapping. But uh, obviously, a lot more needs to be done. Uh, but that work has been uh, underway and is going to continue being underway and is very much a priority.